My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. You are welcome to episode number 88 of the 120 Days to Jam Physics with Flash Isaac. Ladies and gentlemen, we've done a lot when it comes to electrical energy and power. I took time to explain and I took time to relate it to real life scenarios. In this episode, we shall be looking at hot cake questions when it comes to electrical energy and power. And I shall be taking my time to explain as much as I can do. So, this is like revision questions and also to touch the things I probably did not touch. For some questions, I will explain in details. For some, I will just throw lights on them. For some, I will just give you the answers. By the way, visit flashlearners.com to install Flash Learners app and assess questions, games, and numerous features. You have competitions there to help strengthen your, 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 your confidence, your hands, your calculation ability, your brain. Now, the formula for maximum power transfer of a cell whose EMF is E and internal resistance is R. EMF is electromotive force, the electric pressure, the electric energy that pushes voltage to flow in a circuit. EMF is actually the voltage or potential difference when a circuit is open or in an open circuit. Now, EMF is a misnomer. It is not a force. Force. The fact that the name says electromotive force does not mean that it is a force. It is not a force. EMF, internal resistance, is the opposition to the flow of current offered by a device itself instead of the opposition across the circuit. So if you have a cell with EMF and internal resistance, the formula for the maximum power transferred is E squared over 4 R. So maximum power in any calculation is equals E squared over 4 R. You square the EMF and you divide it by 4 times the internal resistance. So that is the formula for maximum power supply. We probably get back to there soon. And we know that power dissipated in the circuit is power dissipated in the circuit is I squared R. Y energy is I squared R O T. Now there are so many formulas we can apply. For example, power is current times voltage. And voltage is I R O. So that is how you got I squared R. Now, current is voltage over resistance. So if you are doing that here, changing current to voltage over resistance, power becomes V squared over R. So there are so many interesting things you can do when it comes to electrical power and energy. So let's proceed. A conductor has a diameter of 1 mm and a length of 2 mm. If the resistance of the material is 0 0.1 ohms, calculate its resistivity. Its resistivity. I think resistivity should be under DC circuits. Yeah, this is like a misplaced priority or a misplaced question. Why trying to sort questions? Something happened along the line. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to solve it. I told you that resistance is rho L over A. And resistivity is this is resistivity. So resistivity is resistance times area over length. I also told you that conductivity is the inverse of resistivity. So if you are if you are to solve for conductivity, conductivity will be L over arrow A. 
Now, what are we given? We are given the diameter and length of a wire. And we are given the resistance of the wire. The total of the resistance is 0 0.1 ohms. We are given the length. The length is 2 meters. The problem is that we do not have area to solve for resistivity. We have the resistance, we have the length. So in many questions, you will be given the area as well. But here they said no, they are not going to give us area. And there's no way we are going to fight them. So for a wire, you know how uh, the shape of a wire, having a diameter, the area is very simple. Area is pi d square over 4 for a wire. Pi d square over 4. This is the formula for calculating area of a conductor. Conductor is really like this. So the area is pi d square over 4. Pi is a constant, 22 over 7, or 3.142, blah, blah, blah. Diameter is given to be 1.0 millimeter. Of course, we are not going to solve with millimeter. We have to convert to meter. In fact, you see your options, they are in meter. How do we convert from millimeter to meter? We simply divide by 1000. So D is equals 1.0 millimeter. This is the same thing as 1 times 10 to the power of minus 3 meters. So I think with this food is ready. Area is pi d square over 4. That is pi times diameter square 1.1 1 times 10 to the power of minus 3 square over 4. So you can turn this to 22 over 7. If you solve that correctly, your area should be around 7.855 times 10 to the power of minus 7. If I am correct, that should give you your area. So if you substitute that there, resistance times the area you've gotten divided by the length, you are going to get 3.93 times 10 to the power of minus 8 ohms meter. So option D is your correct option. Now for this question, if you are given radius, you can simply say area is pi r squared. So that would work. But for diameter, area is pi d square over 4 would work. You get your area, you substitute the value of area here, multiply by the resistance over length. You are definitely going to get your correct option. And which of the following is not an ohmic conductor? Silver is a melter. Copper is a metal. Silicon is not a metal. It is a metalloid. And we treated that under semiconductor. So, A is the correct option. Silicon is not an ohmic conductor. If Ohm's law is written as current is equals kV, the proportionality constant k is that. I expressly talked about this in the last two episodes. I said for Ohm's law, voltage is proportional to current and V is equals ROI. So that constant arrow is the resistance. So if you are to switch it to say current equals or current is proportional to voltage, the constant in front of the voltage is no longer resistance. It is inverse of resistance and that will give you conductance. Conductance. Okay, you see, <laughs> we have two different options, conductance and conductivity. This is like saying resistance and resistivity. Okay, so in this case, it is conductance, not conductivity. Now, the reverse of resistivity is what is referred to as conductivity. And a cell of internal resistance supplies current to a cis ohm resistor. In fact, most of these questions so far are even appearing. Oh, why did I clean there? Okay, it is fine. These questions so far are actually appearing to even be DC circuit questions. Don't worry, we shall get to power soon. But let's see what happens here. A cell of internal resistance arrow supplies current to a cis ohm resistor and its efficiency is 75%. Efficiency of a cell is equals arrow over, I think arrow over, arrow over, arrow plus arrow 
times 100. This is the formula for efficiency of a cell or of any cell. So if you don't get the formula, please take note of it. Efficiency of any cell is the resistance divided by resistance plus the internal resistance times 100. So we are told that internal resistance arrow supplies current to a 6 ohm resistor. So the resistance or the resistor is 6 ohms. Now look at the difference between resistor and resistance. The resistor is the material, material that opposes the flow of current. Now resistance is opposition to the flow of current. That means the process. That is the difference. Resistance, mat resistor, material, resistance, the process. So the efficiency is equal to 75 percent. Find the value of R. This is question. I think with this, food is ready because efficiency is resistance over resistance plus internal resistance times 100. So efficiency is 75 equals, since there's already 100 here, so no need to say 75 over 100. R over C over C plus R times 100. If you solve this correctly, this should give you something like this. 75 over 100 is equals 6 over 6 plus R. When you cross multiply and you make R subject formula, you should be able to get 2 ohms. The answer is 2 ohms. Solve that and let me see if you got 2 ohms. And the next question says, find the resistance of a 4 meter uniform wire whose resistivity is 1.10 times 10 raised to the power of minus 6 ohm meter and a cross sectional area of 1.2 times 10 raised to the power of minus 6 meter. The good news for us is that everything is in standard. The resistivity is in meter, the length is in meter, 4 meter uniform wire, and the area is in meter squared. So what do we do? Resistance is rho L over A rho. Yeah, rho L over A. This is resistance. Why resistivity is rho A over L. If you have something like this, life is good. Resistivity is 1.10 times 10 to the power of minus 6 times length is 4 times 4 all over area 1.2 times 10 to the power of minus 6 so when you solve that you should arrive at 3.67 ohms if you still feel that you are a baby i will just look i will solve everything add then take this off add this when you are still a baby because earlier in the episode I was taking my time to explain a lot of things and teaching you how to work with fraction. And I have a mathematics series where I solve all the topics in mathematics. So if you understand mathematics, there's no need for me to be teaching you how to multiply or how to add. That should be part of the processing. Upon starting a car, a current of 124 ampere is drawn from the 12 volt battery. And the potential drop across the terminal is 8 volts. And the PD across the terminals drops to 8 volts. The internal resistance of the battery is dash. If you are told that a battery is 12 volts, that 12 volts is the EMF of the battery. So EMF is V plus I R. EMS is 12. For car battery, the EMF is mostly 12 volts or most batteries actually and we are told that the potential dropped to 8 volts that is the voltage voltage is 8 plus the current is 120 is it 124 125 amp i don't know any value it is so let's say 124 amps i think the correct thing should be 125 amps let's anything let's just work with what we have times resistance so we don't have the internal resistance. That is what we are looking for. So this is E is equals V 
plus i r. So 12 minus 8 over 124 is equals r. So that will be your answer to this question. With this, we come to the end of this episode. See you in the next episode where we shall continue solving questions.